Today, I'm going to talk about this post on Reddit that says my wife who is dying asked me if it was okay for her to have sex with her ex-boyfriend one last time as a final dying wish. The guy then explains his wife has a terminal illness and the doctors have basically given her less than one year to live, somewhere around nine months. He says of course he's just lost and terrified that he's going to lose her because he's been together with her for a decade. He doesn't know life without her and doesn't know what he's going to do after she's left. He says that he's been doing whatever he can to make sure his wife's time, however much she has left to live, is comfortable and that she gets everything she's wanted to have. The doctors have said that she's going to need a wheelchair after about five months and after eight months she's going to be completely bedridden. This can also happen faster if her health worsens in the previous months. So he says he was talking to his wife one day, and she said that as one of her last wishes, she wants to have sex with a previous partner. Wow. Guys, can you imagine hearing something like that from your girl? The guy must be shocked. The guy then asked her why she wants something like that, to which she replied that of all her partners, that particular man was the best she's ever had and felt the most physically compatible with. She gave a complete explanation and basically BS about how the sex that she had with the guy sharing the story was emotionally fulfilling, but with that man, the ex, it was just completely physical with no emotions involved and the best sex she's ever had. He says he's just shocked and don't know what to do. You know, he wants to really make sure her time left here is spent doing what she wants. He just can't get over the fact that she wants to do it with an ex. He also doesn't want to be the guy who denies her something, which is basically her last dying wish. He's also just dumbfounded how come that's the only dying wish she has. I mean, how good could that guy have been, and how bad must he be compared to him? Guys, this is just one of those situations where I think you should stick to your guns. I mean, I really think this is right up there in the top BS world that women throw at them. The girl's dying, and even her last wish is a form of manipulation and emotional blackmail, so to speak. I think what's really happening here is that the girl is being alpha widowed, which is a very common thing to happen more common than we can all imagine. So girls are at their promiscuous peak by their late 20s to their early 30s, and that's when they decide the sort of guy they want to settle down with. They usually have a first choice who's your typical bad boy living a carefree life, but her friends don't like him because he's not financially stable. But the girl loves him because he's wild and adventurous and brings her fantasies to life in the bedroom. Then there's the second choice, the nice guy who's financially stable. He comes from a good family, went to the top schools and university and has a good future. He's boring compared to the other guy, but he can provide stability. Also, this guy's not great in bed. So I think our man here was the second guy, the second choice. He brought stability to her life, and she had to sacrifice great sex to be with him. Now that she's dying, she actually wants her ex one last time so she can feel alive again. I mean, that's how good the ex must have been compared to this guy. And check this out, this guy's so nice and his wife knows this, which she's even had the guts to ask him this, knowing that he's probably going to say yes in the end. This, my dear friends, is your lesson on how to not be a man in today's world, and also why it's important to open your minds to RP. The ex basically took her for everything she was worth since he was usually the larger, stronger, more physically dominating man, and, if you know what I mean, a lot more talented in the special department. She continues to yearn for the person years later. Numerous women have had guys they used to love hanging out with because of this one particular reason, but had to give up to secure a better and more stable partner. The majority of the time, they either finish up getting dumped by them or being unable to tell them back, in which case the guy essentially lets her go and she becomes irrationally upset. Or it may be a person she wanted to lock down and settle down with but wasn't able to convince to commit, or convince them to essentially remain with her, or convince them to be monogamous, or any number of other things. It's pretty difficult for these higher value, more alpha males to settle down since they often don't remain with just one woman because they have so many possibilities unless they're really connected to social norms and they adhere to certain things. What do you think of this guy's question? I'm wondering, would you grant your dying wife's last wish to go and get pounded by another man that she dated 10 years ago before she passes away? Consider it for a moment. In a sense, you are cucking yourself. That is essentially how one is described as a cuckold who among men would degrade oneself to that. I'm not sure, personally, I would say, get lost, if that were me. I've had enough, leave this place immediately. However, I am aware of the dynamics at play. Again, it's not unusual for women to yearn for ex-boyfriends. I've received messages from pretty much every one of my ex-partners that I've had a long-term relationship with in the previous five to 10 years. Two of them had long-term relationships with men who they had kids with. 
In essence, they were experimenting with derogatory language and attempting to veer toward potential prostitution-related terrain. These ladies, though, are shameless. There is absolutely no shame at all, and that happens a lot, men. It occurs frequently. It's for this reason, among others, that I constantly advise men to only get married to women who select you first before settling down, giving birth to their children, or doing anything else really perilous like becoming a husband and putting their financial security at risk. Make sure the lady you choose to do it with views you as her best option and that you have effectively alpha widowed her. She never has any other guy on her mind. She doesn't communicate with any other men. She doesn't let men hang around her. She avoids hanging out with ex-boyfriends. She is just interested in you, plain and simple. And the majority of men will never truly satisfy their wives or girlfriends burning need. Typically, they are selected as the second option. That's another reality for you. Therefore, it's crucial if you want to have the best experience with women while minimizing any exposure to things like divorce, depression, losing half your stuff, having to take the kids or never seeing them again, etc. It's crucial that you only pick long-term relationships with women who consider you as their best option. Never, ever, ever be a girl's second choice. Otherwise, you could find yourself answering a question similar to this one day, and I can assure you that you won't enjoy it. A small piece of my heart does hurt for this person, but it also does not. If he were RP, he would have let go of this woman years back. Take care guys, and thanks for tuning in.